Okay, YouTube subscribers to my channel and whoever else stumbles across this. Uh, this is my monster mower. I just started out up here on top. I tried to do this a while ago and I'm trying to climb up here and take a picture at the same time. And the camera was wiggling so bad I couldn't hardly see it. So let me just start this thing up before we before we do anything and then I'll take you through the uh, process of how, how we did everything. Get Sound too bad for what it is. Uh, it's got a 20 horse cooler, 20 engine on it. It sounds pretty good, don't smoke. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this thing off for you uh, so you can hear me. Okay, so let me go ahead and just climb down here and I'll take you through this thing. But I did want to start out up here on top instead of wiggling the camera around trying to get up here and then get down. Oh, let me do this. Get everybody lined up or with a hood will close up. Okay, here we go. Started out as a 1989 Craftsman garden tractor. I apologize for the quality of the picture. I'm using a pocket camera and it won't zoom out quite far enough to do what I want to do, so that's the best I got. Uh, here we go. It's uh, got a two-foot lift kit on it. It's got 31 and a half inch tall tires on it. They're 12 inches wide. I think they're on 18 inch rims. It's got a two-foot lift kit on it. The guy I work with, he and I built this thing. Working on it about two hours a day. Um, the front end. What we did with the front end is I went to Croft Trailer and I bought some trailer spindles. You can see them right down there. There's one there and one right here. You can see this embarrassed glider. Anyway, I had the machine shop bore a hole in the center of that <clears throat> and uh, we just slid them on the original spindles and welded them on. And we beefed up that front end, that that U bracket there to hold that front end. We got supports across the bottom of it so they don't spread out. Uh, we put a 14 inch rack and pinion steering on it. We could have went with 11 inch, I believe, and made the arms a little bit longer. That that created a whole bunch of issues trying to figure that mass out. But anyway, we got it finally, and we got some uh, U-joints and some couplings, uh, spline couplings for the steering from uh, Jig uh, JEG Racing. And I put a step on it here so I can get off, but I usually climb up in the back. Uh, let's see here. What do we got going here? We got the uh, driving lights on it because the headlights being up that high don't mean nothing because you can't see so I put some driving lights on I put a winch on it right there don't really care if it winches anything I just think it looks cool I put uh, all the green LED light bulbs in the front I think they look good and what I did too was I put some ground effect LEDs on it uh, okay, you can't see them very well because it's daylight, but after dark they look pretty cool. Uh, it lights up the ground pretty well. I've got a trailer I pulled behind it, and I just bought some uh, strip LEDs that I'm going to put on the bottom of it. I put a couple of uh, red tail lights on it, so when I got the headlights on, they came on. Oh, we uh, put the. Uh, hydrostatic drive rear end in it. That was quite the issue too, trying to figure out this linkage. Uh, it, it, all hydrostatics have a fan on it, so it didn't have room for the fan to fit underneath the frame the way we got it in there. So what I did was went to uh, the motorcycle shop and I bought a used Goldwing electric fan and uh, wired it up so it would blow the heat off that that uh, rear end and what I did with that was when you pull out the the mower push pull switch the fan comes on and I put green LEDs in the dash up here so I'd know when the fan was on um, and it's all the safeties are still intact the seat switch the mower switch it's all intact uh, so if you fall off, at least the darn thing will shut off. The linkage for it was quite 
interesting. We just had to lengthen the shaft on. I don't think you can see it or not. We had to lengthen the shaft, and we had to maneuver that uh, little rod end around in uh, to get it to work. And we also elong we moved the rear end back two inches, and we had to elongate the slot here for where it goes forward and reverse to to accommodate the two inch movement back. Oh, let's see what else we got going here. Oh, the mufflers. The mufflers we made out of um, conveyor rollers. What we had at work, it was, just, it was not used for anything. So we popped the ends out and uh, put a three-quarter inch lawnmower muffler inside of that. And then we welded the ends, turned the ends around and welded them on there backwards. And I put a three-quarter inch coupling on the threaded end of the lawnmower mufflers, which that holds that in place, and uh, then we use half inch or three quarter inch. Uh, I think that's one at uh, one, yeah, one inch coupling, not three quarter. A three quarter inch water pipe for an exhaust pipe. I'm not real happy with. It. I think I might load this thing up uh, here in the next week or so and take it over to the muffler shop and see if they can make me a custom pipe for that. I think that'd look a lot neater. And the turnouts I made out of some aluminum uh, elbows that I had. I ended up cutting them down and putting an angle on it, and that fit that pipe fairly well. The drive belts was uh, quite a challenge too. What what it did? If I had to do over again, I would use a transaxle that the that the drive pulley was up on top instead of on the side. So what I had to do was uh, mount a shaft up here. And use the same size pulleys for the motor driven pulley here and then the transaxle driven pulley here. They're the same size as what's on the tran uh, transaxle down here, so we wouldn't speed up the transaxle or, or lose anything. This thing will run about 15 miles an hour with the, these tires as big as they are. I uh, didn't want to speed that up any uh, to, over, to overwork that transaxle. So. So, but I don't think I'd want to go any faster than that as, as high as this thing sets it. When I back it off the trailer, it's pretty spooky. Oh, uh, let's see. We named it Chigger Chomper. Right there. The front across this little guy here on the internet. And I took the tractor over to the guy who pinstripes my motorcycles for me. And I had him paint that on there, which is pretty awesome, I think. Uh, pinstriping the motorcycle, like right there and right here pinstripes like that that's the same guy that did that I have LEDs up here in the dash or in the grill oh, let's see what else we got going here I'm thinking about maybe even putting a couple of LEDs under the seat maybe I don't know but when I got this thing it was pretty sad shape so when I got ready to tear it all apart we stripped it down broke the frame in half get all the mower assembly off and when I started taking that hood apart I was going to paint it because it started falling apart so I got online on Sears.com and uh, found some parts for it I got a whole bunch of new parts new steering wheel new linkage a whole bunch of stuff and uh, bought a new hood for it I'm thinking I was gonna paint that and it came already pre-painted green and they could probably put a better paint job on what I could put on it. so I just bought a new hood for $115 I believe put a new grill on it put new headlights in it oh let's see here and I was gonna put some new fender a new fender on it but the fenders aren't available for it so I stripped the old fender down and uh, we've repainted it with uh, some automotive paint that I took some parts up to the uh, auto paint store and they matched the paint up for that to that it looks pretty good um, could be could be better but for what we had to work with it turned out pretty good I ordered some new floorboards for it but when they got here one of them was black and the other one was some kind of an off ball green so I sent those back and just stripped what I had down and repainted it uh, put a step on it to get off it makes it a little easier to get off I usually mount up from the back and climb up on that tire uh, you put a trailer hitch on it to pull a little trailer with. Uh, the <coughs> axle hub uh, had made. 
I miscalculated the the uh, spacing on this by about an inch on each side for some. I don't know how I did that because I had that drawn out on the floor. And I found these on eBay called wheel spacers. I put uh, I think they're an inch and a quarter wide, and I put those on it to to bring that rear wheels out even with the front. But all in all, it turned out pretty good. I just don't know how else I could improve on that because it did turn out a lot cleaner and a lot better than I thought. But uh, I don't know. I just uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. That really came out well. Doing uh, some parades with it. Now, that is a blast. It's a lot more fun than I thought it would. The first one was uh, pretty neat, and I think so far uh, it's been in four different parades in there. You get the reaction is the same from everybody. Everybody wants one. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I always tell them it's not for sale. You'll have to build your own. Uh, I broke my arm while I was making this. I was drilling this particular hole right here. The drill got caught. That's a 5 16 hole. That drill got caught, spun around, and broke one of the bones in my arm. And I ended up having a surgery and put a plate and some screws in it to put me back together. So, anyway, that's about it. So, if, uh, leave your comments. Yeah, if you like it, that's fine. If you don't, then that's just tough shit. So, Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.